Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Thief Gold with Classic Gamer Dave. I'm excited to get back into this one. Um, a lot of people have been asking for it, which is actually surprising to me. I didn't know if this was going to be very popular, but I'm really glad it is because it's so awesome. And if you liked the first mission, it really only gets better from there, I'm telling you. So let's load our next mission, which is Crags Clef Prison. Um, I'll go over the, uh, um, the goals and everything in a second. I want to go through go over the go through the briefing and first I want to buy water arrows those are the most important thing to me I want to have as many of those as possible especially in a mission that has undead in it and I will tell you why when we get to that part now the next important thing to me is silence so shadows is first then silence is second so moss arrows are definitely good because um, in this game it's always hard it's it's not easy to make your own shadows. It, um, y you basically have to find, you know, ways to sneak through. Um, and it's easy to, you know, move quietly and over loud surfaces. But you can't move invisibly through light areas, you know what I'm saying? So water oils are absolutely important. Also, um, I could get a healing potion, but really if if i lose health i consider that a personal failure anyway so and there will be healing potions in the game i'm sure at some point uh and broadhead arrows absolutely useless there's not enough the only thing i use broadhead arrows on are there's two different enemies one we haven't met yet oh uh, there might be a couple others too but the one that i use it most on we haven't met yet and then second would be spiders and there's not very many spiders. There's only one I can think of off the top of my head, actually. Okay, and then speed potions we don't have enough money for, and they're good, but they're not they're not important here. I I, I know what I'm doing well enough not to have to run away from something. Also, um, we have a couple tips here. One's for 100, one's for 300. I'm going to grab these just because I have enough money to, and I don't really care for that other stuff. I already know what these say, but just for you guys, I'll, I'll grab those. So let's review the briefing, the cutscene beforehand. This is good stuff. I'll always love these cutscenes. Great. Fantastic. The animation is good. It just sets the tone. So this is, uh, this scene is depicting somebody forging, um, hammerite something. It, it's probably a hammer itself, so. Yeah, see, they're forging a hammer. Because the Hammerites worship the hammer. Before death came, the liars were made to feast upon the hands of the thieves. And the thieves were made to ingest the tongues of their liar brothers. And we praised the master builder for his judgments. <laughs> Good stuff. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate, violate their, their tenants. tenants. I love that part. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. Indeed. So basically, um, Cuddy was going to pay Garrett for the scepter we stole in that last mission, and the hammers uh, arrested him. So Garrett's like, no. Fuck that. <laughs> um, oh, this doesn't show the full... Hang on, I, I'm going to go back here. I'll rebuy that equipment. I want I want you to see the full objectives here. 
Um, your map doesn't show the way through the mine, so you're going to have to scout around and make your way to where they hold the prisoners, okay? So we got to get to the prisoners. Um, Cuddy still owes you for the Baffert job. Break him out, get your cash, so find Cuddy. Um, you've had your eye on Basso, the box man's sister, for a while now. If you break him out of Crag's Cleft, she'll probably be very grateful. <laughs> oh, Gary, you dog. So that's three. Find Basso, the box man, and break him out. Um, is it the beggar borrowed your lucky hand of glory, which is actually a golden, like, hand statuette kind of thing, I think. Uh, knowing him, probably hit it from the hammer's body search in ways you'd rather not think about. Get it back. That is revolting. <laughs> There's bound to be some pricey religious icons in any hammer complex. Try to come out with at least 1,000 worth of stuff. Easy. Escape from the prison with Cuddy and Basso. Not Isit. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> and uh, a true professional doesn't leave behind a mess. Don't kill anyone. So that, that one's the obvious one. Let me rebuy all my stuff here. I basically bought all the water arrows. Good. Oops, I didn't mean to buy that. Sell it back. And get the tips. Rad. Now we're off. Let's play this damn thing. Cool. So we get set off into this uh, little open quarry type area with some gravel. Pretty cool. There's a nice boulder here. Or some rubble we can throw. <laughs> we can throw this. Don't worry, there's nobody around here to hear anything, so you can be as loud as you want. Woo! Oh, shit! Woo! Almost got knocked out there by our own rubble throw. So, this is the entrance. I want to go down here and look at this little guy. Sneaky, sneaky devil. Um, yeah, you have to swim into the lower mines, which are supposedly haunted, so... So let's be careful about that. Oh gosh. Oh, some flies up there. Which hurt you, so they must be bees. Though I can't imagine bees flying around like that. So let's see. Oh shit. Uh. Is that a fucking zombie? Can we climb up this? Oh, we totally can. When I was little, I used to be so scared of that. If you get too close to that zombie, it will spring up at you. Just saying. They don't really respond to noise. Am I stuck? Fuck, I am totally stuck right now. <laughs> get the hell out of there. Garrett, what are you trying to do? They don't really react to noise as much. They react to your presence. So as long as you don't get too close to them, they're usually fine. So this is the lower mine area. There's a passageway to the left, which doesn't really have anything. There's this weird beam sticking out, but... Uh, yeah. I usually actually climb that and quick save up there when I need to. Or when I want to do that. Oh, here's the here's a little elevator shaft. This is how we get to the next floor, but uh, well, I don't want to do that quite yet. There's a couple other things we can do here still. Let's go back here with our friend. This way to the factory. We don't want to go all the way to the factory yet. And we don't want to go this way. First we want to... Well, we do want to go that way, but... Uh, well, you'll see. Um, I think I want to go this way first. Oh shit, that's where I came from. Uh, it's hard to see. I should turn up the brightness for myself, really, a little bit. Uh, what is this? Some gold, a gold nugget, and a silver nugget. Nuggets of happiness. What? Oh, uh, there's that zombie we found from the start of the mines. Um, I can't see jack shit. Uh... There's... Oh, oh, shit. I did not see him. It may He may not have gotten up. No. We're still good. They're, they're pretty easy to avoid. Oh, come off it. I didn't even get anywhere near you. Thanks for the warning shot, though. Oh, seriously, where the hell is that one? Uh... 
passage way. Balls, there's a... Maybe I do have to go up to the next area to get that. Huh, I must. Well, I'll go up, I guess. So I'm just gonna slide past him. <sighs> He's not an issue. Get up there! He is an issue if you frig, frig around too long. And there's these guys in here too. And they will growl at you, but if you just run across and jump up, you'll be fine. They won't even get up. Look at them. Lazy bags of dicks. Okay, so... Woo, we want to go out here next. This area is kind of precarious. Uh, there's some little ledges over here. You can see there's a silver nugget over there, but there's no way to walk over there. You have to jump. Looks like I have to jump. Um. Shit! Oh. Shit! That's why you need healing potions, by the way. For this level. Hey, fuck it. We'll wake this ass up. Too. I really just wanted to uh, zip through. Damn it! Fucking zombies. Did I wake him up? Yep. Hey, buddy. Missed you. Yeah, he doesn't know where I am. There we go. Well, if I fall again, I'm dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> hopefully we won't do that. What if they woke up this time? They did not. <laughs> Shit. Well, uh, you get to see the death screen anyway. That'll be fun. Yep. Okay, I'm back. I managed to make it here without uh, waking up that zombie down there and a few other friends. So let's try to... Nice. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. And then... Like so. And now, what we have to do is climb up on this thing. <laughs> that pathway where we were on before just leads up to that rock, so you can't go across it because there's a bridge out. So what you have to do is climb up on top of this thing. <gasps> on top uh, Oh god. <gasps> this is kinda hard to <laughs> There we go. There we go, nice. And that's how you do that. Do not fall down there. Cause that's bad news. Baby. So there's some zombies up here already walking around. Good. Good news. Let's try to stay away out of his field of vision here. Oh, I forgot to go into that mine shaft. Well, we can do that right now, actually. Oh, shit. Fuck you, man. I can't reach it from here. Dude, no! Balls, I'm dead. What? How did I live that? How in the dicks did I live that? Alright, well, we're gonna go down. That was a glitch. That was totally a glitch. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Here's the spider. It's a big one, so it takes a lot of hits. I could have used arrows on it, but I decided my sword was easier for close range combat with that guy. So, there's nothing else really here, I don't think. But if you go down this way, there's sort of a collapsed mine shaft kind of thing. There's a moss arrow, and I think that's it. But totally worth it, totally worth it. Moss arrows are the to bomb. I'm not sure if I told you guys what moss arrows do yet, but worry not. We will see eventually. Um, I have to climb that whole shitting thing again. Uh, where was I? This way. And then we can probably go this way. Like this. Oh yeah. I didn't wake him up again. Like a boss. These guys didn't even say anything to me when I walked through here last time. On that time I didn't. Oh, I can't go that way. You have to go the alternative route. This is the route Google Maps would have given us if we had asked for directions. Even if the bridge wasn't out. Ooh. 
cool. There we go. So we got the moss arrow. We're good now. Yeah, fuck you. You've already seen me. Come here, buddy. Oh, there's another one. You brought a friend! But were you not? There's a little... This is a hammerite chapel. Um, and that's good. Because uh, another thing you can do with uh, water arrows is create holy water arrows. You pour holy water on them. It gives you a certain amount of time. It's not a certain amount of arrows. And this is actually a holy water fountain. So you just use that and you can keep recharging. And it's basically free holy water. It's not free water arrows, unfortunately. But still worth it because zombies are a pain in the butt. Yeah. I think there's one more zombie roaming around this area, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, there's another holy water thing, which we won't really need. <laughs> I usually actually run all the way back to this holy water fountain and kill zombies free, and don't y ever use my holy water for real. I, I will use it in later missions though, no worries there. So we got some treasures here, we got a little hammer, and a golden candlestick. We already have 360 gold, we haven't even gotten into the main area yet, so if that is any indication of how, much, how easy it'll be to get a thousand. Okay, I think that's all we can get in here. Um, so now we want to go zombie that way. Oh, that's a dead end. Is this way something? No. Well, we don't want to be over there. Instead, let's go this way. There's a dead hammer. Probably killed by a zombie. Little table. Go this way to the factory. Oh, look, a skeleton! Um, you're gonna want to hug the wall for this one. Nice trap. Nice try. And you avoid that guy. And there's a little ladder here. Ooh. We're actually almost out of the mines. <laughs> some gold and some silver. Silver. Oh, I tried to walk down the ladder again like a good stealthy guy, but I just jumped down. Just straight up jumped. I think that's all we can do here. Some people talking. Striving to learn our teachings. There are novices still. But fewer, brother, fewer. Youths in this time seek to learn about gold and politics. Not honest craft. It will be their loss when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. So, I'm gonna just... Hmm. That guy... A, a strategy you can use here is actually luring zombies over to the hammers, which creates a suitable distraction. Generally. So, there was one. I'm not sure if I want to grab one from way over here. There's a water shaft here. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, there's just multiple ways to get to where I just got. And you don't need to take all of them, for sure. So, there's also an, another way into the mines other than where I just was. That's where I just came from. I don't want to go in that way, actually. I want to go in through this door behind this zombie. And I want to bring my friend here with me. Hopefully I can get past him. Oh, he hit me, bastard. Hopefully I can get these two acquainted here. He's going to come out and investigate. Crap. He didn't see me, but he will. No, look at the zombie here. Sneak past him. He will start fighting the zombie. 
Oh man. Can you guys move? I want Oh shit you freaking cracking douche doggle. Oh. If he hits you with that hammer, you're just fucking toast. <gasps> oh what? You sneaky fucker. He can't climb up that though. Guards can't NPCs can't Oh fuck. They can't mantle or climb ladders. <laughs> My god, I'm actually like scared right now. Let's get away. Let's hide in here for a second. <laughs> what a douche. Get out of here. Ooh. That zombie's gonna come in here any second. Coward. We're about to have a show. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Who's gonna win? Place your bets now. Place your bets Peace now. By hiding, Craven. Craven. Oh, are you ready for this? Oh, come on, I wanna see. Oh, shit. He smoked the zombie. Usually it's a. Usually it's a pretty fair fight, but he just fucking Thou shalt not escape me. Took it out to lunch. Okay, man, can you get out of my shit here? I'm a little busy. That's not usually the way I handle it. Um Hello? I shall spy <laughs> thee ere long. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go away. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here until you no longer exist. Please. Peace thy hiding, Craven. Craven. Yeah, yeah. Blah 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 blah. Thou shalt not escape me for long. I shall spy thee ere long, thief. Thief! Thief! So, 300, Okay, so I'm back, and he... Walked away. He got sick of looking for me. Thank, thank the builder. <laughs> you, we don't say thank God in Thief. We say thank the builder. Ew, corpse. <sighs> it's all corpsey. Oh, man. Yeah, this is definitely not the best way to go in, especially once you've spooked him. But we can open that door without him really worrying about it. Okay. Usually I would quick save here, but Garrett is a master thief. There's no need for quick saves. Oh shit. I'm oh, he's gonna see me, that's for sure. Um I'm not sure what path he walks in here. Ooh. Fuck you, bro! Oh, dirty cock. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I uh, have <sighs> navigated back to where I was. And I still want to go this way. Bespeak thyself. Bespeak myself. Did he stop in there? Thy hiding place cannot last. Are you really Intruder? Who wants? F you bro. The flies really did damage to me just then. Yeah. <sighs> got to justify thy sorry existence to thy builder. Really? Oh shit, I'm just running. I'm running, guys. It's shameless, but I'm doing it. 
Fuck you, better ah. stick. Oh, thou canst never prevail. <sighs> Alright, I'm t I'm just going. That's all there is to it. I'm sick of him. Walking around grabbing these you know what. Usually I take more time, but I don't want to take all the time in the world. So here we are. We're we're at the entrance here. <laughs> I made it. Yay! And uh, this is where I'm going to end off this episode. <laughs> so, right here in this corner with two health. No more mistakes, that's for sure. But we're out of the undead area, so it's, it's good news. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of the Crags Cleft Prison Thief Gold. Thanks for watching. Keep it classic.